Hey people, how's it going? This is DJ357 here for uh, yet another trip into the magical world of DJ357 Plays and we're back playing Titan Quest. It's been quite a while since we had a video for this, so uh, let's get right stuck into it. So the last time we were around, we were um, going to the Spartan camp. We were trying to speak to the Spartan general Leonidas, uh, but uh, one of his uh, underlings decided that he was going to send us on a uh, shitty mission to defeat some centaur that he was far too fucking lazy to deal with. Uh, so now we gotta go do that. So, when we started back into the game, obviously we respawned at the um, Fountain of Life, or whatever it's called. So we're just outside that area with the camp. So we're back to the old onslaught, onslaught, onslaught kind of deal. Now the frames are a little touchy at the moment, so sorry about that. Not quite sure why that is at the moment, but I will be getting a brand new PC within the next week or so. So hopefully we won't have any more of that in the future videos. Onslaught, onslaught, onslaught. So, how have you people been? What have you guys been up to in the time since I last saw you? Hmm? Huh? Did you go on a holiday with the wife? Huh? Yeah? Yeah, you totally did. Or maybe you took some time off. I don't know. I wasn't there. I was off somewhere else. In fact, I was actually in the hospital for a little while. Ooh, fun times. So, yeah, that's why there hasn't been many uh, updates on the channel, especially with Cut and Quest. Life goes on, as it is. Round is four. Okay, where the hell is this Spartan camp? I'm getting quite confused now. It's been so long since I played this bloody game. Where the fuck is that Spartan camp? Oh gosh! More onslaught! More onslaught! Ah, okay, so we found the camp now. Oh, there's still one big bastard around here. Die, you evil brute! Okay. Fantastic. So, there isn't really much that I can pick up here, but at least I am back at the camp. Okay. So, these guys are all ready to fend off any kind of an attack, which they just did. So, here is this pain in the ass bastard, Brasidas. He wants us to... If, when you've killed that oversized man-horse... See, his grammar is terrible, too. If, when you've killed that. Doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. So, if I've killed it, or when I've killed it. One or the other. Make up your frickin' mind. So, why didn't this rebirth find... Here. Sort things. Okay, that's interesting. I clicked on the rebirth fountain, but he went uh, walking towards the portal, like, twice. I don't know, I don't get it. Anyway. So, what we are doing in this video, in this episode, is we are going to take out Nessus. So you can see over here, we want to defeat the centaur Nessus so that we can go speak to Leonidas. So, that's what we're going to do. So, this guy here has a quest for me. If I look worried, it's because Hippias, an ancient of war and father figure to me, wandered off into the valley this morning and has not come back. <laughs> he is getting If you old, look at the top there, apparently this guy is a melancholic Spartan. Wonder what he had to do to, to gain that rank. It is not safe for any man alone out there. Centaurs and other beasts, okay. to be honest. So, uh, a friend of his, uh, Hippias, has uh, decided to wander off into the forest. Like a dumbass. So now we have to go rescue his silly ass. So, which way do we go? Do we go north or do we go east? I am unsure. Let's zoom out, see what happens. Okay, that doesn't give me any further information. So, okay, so we are going to. Uh, these are the side quests in Greece, main quests. Travel through through Laconia and onto Sparta. So doesn't give me any more information about that. 
Oh, let yeah, yeah, no yeah. civilian gets in the into plan see of General Valley. Leonidas. Okay. So at the moment we are in the plan of Valley, so looks like we're going the right way. So we'll just keep on keeping on. And see what happens. So we can see in the minimap there appears to be a point of interest somewhere nearby. To the north of here. Onslaught the crap out of these guys. So um, I have here a Warhorn. Okay, so that temporarily stuns enemies. And this is the standard onslaught. Okay. So what we'll try and do is we'll try and show off what the actual Warhorn does. Oh, awesome. So it stuns those guys. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude. Not cool. I kept trying to run away, but obviously they had me surrounded, so I couldn't move. Not cool. Okay. Where is that dude where I can sell all my crap? Okay. Here it is. I'm busy enough what? supplying this I thought my inventory was full. Hurry, anyway. what do you want? So we're going to sell this stuff because we can't use it. Wait, required strength is 110. Yeah, it's going to be quite some time before I can use that. Um, I did say in the last video that I was going to hold on to this, so, so that I have it when I can use it, so we will hold on to it. Um, this is... no. Not as good. Um, no, we're good. So, copper cleaver, no, not as good. Reinforced buckler, also not as good. And then we have a protective band, so that's 14% lightning resistance. So, we won't be using that. Okie doke. So, we have 8,000 gold. Is there anything that we can buy here? Anything useful? So, early on we had said that we were going to try and focus on energy regen, because it would be helpful. Now, the only thing I have equipped at the moment that gives me energy regen at the moment is this copper garland. So, if I get rid of it in favour of something with a little bit more armour, I may survive a little bit longer. Um, but I won't have quite as much energy. Now, the onslaught itself doesn't really use a huge amount of energy, so I think I may just do it. Just 20 armour. Okay, so we'll go with this one. That kind of uh, soothes some of my energy qualms. Thank you for not loitering. Yeah, that was unnecessarily verbose. <laughs> okay. So, let's get going. There is another vendor um, to the south of that guy I was just speaking to who deals in magic and spells and stuff. We won't go near them for the moment. Um, there's really no need because I'm focusing on melee and just using abilities as opposed to casting spells and stuff. So we shall keep on. Okay, so we are going to head back and find these guys who slaughtered me, and we're going to pay them back. Take it. Suck it. Onslaught. 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 Oh, I see. Okay. So, I'm not sure if you caught that there, but for a little while, I was basically trapped. Uh, so the centaur had basically thrown um, a net or something over me to try and stop me from moving. And obviously it was quite effective. Okay, doesn't have to be a huge amount of stuff around here. Oh, centaurs! Centaurs! Okay. So we're taking these dudes out. Okay, we're doing pretty okay with, against these guys. When I was surrounded earlier on, I wasn't doing too good. But still kind of surrounded at the moment, but I'm doing okay. Okay, take out this long range dude. Quit firing your arrows at me, you bastard. Come on, come on, come on. Down. Damn ravenous boars. 
I think for the next little while, the uh, kinds of enemies are going to be slightly boring. We're going to be seeing the same dudes over and over again. Uh, but after a little while, they will start to change. We will start to see um, a much wider variety of them. Iron Sudis, Ash Crude Buckler, Oak Club. No, we're good for the moment. Okay. So let us continue northwest ish. Oh, okay, that looks like that's Nessus. Yep, that's Nessus. Okay, so we're gonna need to heal up for our fight against this dude. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. I have a horn of my own as well, you know. <laughs> Dirty. Okay, run away. Run the fuck away. We are getting slaughtered. Okay, so we're trying to get some of his lesser guys. Damn it, can't use my there we go. Couldn't use my warhorn again for this one. Run away. Run away. Run away. No matter what I what game I'm playing for you guys, I always end up running away from shit. Especially when there's hordes of enemies. If any of you guys checked out uh, the custom map uh, for the zombie apocalypse for Minecraft, uh, one of the video series I have up at the moment, uh, I spent a lot of my time running away there as well. Okay, so I have just run out of health potions, which is not helpful. So my health is in dire straits at the moment. Centaur armor. So, Centaur. Well, this Centaur Aquarius is slightly better than the one I have. I don't have enough dexterity to use it at the moment, which is not helpful. So, it'd be nice if I had some sort of heal spell or heal ability, but don't have that at the moment. So, we are just going to run back to Sparta, Spartan camp, because I need health potions. I need them bad. So, see if we can sell some of this crap. Get some health potions. No loitering. Yeah, well, I loiter wherever the hell I want, so you shut up. Okay, we spent a lot of money on those, but uh, well, they bye. will definitely help us out. Okay, so good thing is we can just jump straight back to our portal. So, hopefully we are now in a position to take this guy out. Oh, a bit of gold here. Some more gold over here. Slim pickings, but you know, every little helps. does knock him out when I use the Warhorn ability, so that is a good thing. So, I'm just chopping away at this dude and hoping that my health doesn't drop too quickly. It's quite likely that I'm going to need to take these guys out first. Oh, come on! Why are you... Oh, no! Don't do that! The only upside to this is that I'm getting a lot, you know, a good amount of experience from dealing with these guys. But seriously, stop calling in more guys. Okay, I can't use my warhorn yet. Whoa, nearly died there. Okay, so we have this guy below half health, so that's good. That is very good. We're doing okay. We might get there. Come on, keep chopping away. Keep chopping away. Just in case you guys don't know, I'm, I just keep constantly using Onslaught. Just because it's got a nice amount of damage. Okay. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Go on, go on. Yes! Suck it! So, not only did we kill that bastard, we also leveled up. Sweet. Okay. So, let's do that, and that. And we'll take that, just for the crack. 
So, left some gold for us over here. So, we have killed Nessus, the big evil centaur bastard. So, hopefully now, um, can't remember that dude's name, but uh, hopefully that asshole will let us through to see Leonidas now. So, let's see, this centaur chorus is... Hmm, okay, so we need we we should try and increase our dexterity. Boom, there we go. So now we can use this. It's slightly higher armor and it increases the intelligence. So that's good. Boom. Okay, because it didn't give us any stat boosts or anything like that, so it's good to have that. Uh, probably should have increased some of the strength there, but whatever. Okay. Sorry there, just had to cough a little bit. So, now what we want to do is we want to have a look at our skills. Okay. So we have three unused points. Now what we can do is we can invest three of those additional points in this main mastery bar. So that would give us access to these. But I don't think we want to do that just yet. I think what we'll do is this increases our damage resistance and our pierce resistance. So that's good. This increases the chance to dodge attacks. Mm, not really interested in that. So this gives us uh, the ability to dual wield. But as I mentioned, it's quite likely we're not going to do that. I'm going to try and... Ordinarily I go for a dual wielding build, but I'm going to stick with just uh, sword and shield. So we will go with some weapon training. Battle rage is helpful. So we might go with that. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go with the Onslaught because it's one of the abilities that we kind of lean on and I think we will go with a bit of that. Just give us a little bit of damage resistance because we are uh, not getting owned. I mean, we only died once taking out that boss, so we're not doing too badly. But, you know, the more damage resistance, the better. So, okay. What is our inventory like? Okay, we have a bit of room. So, let's peruse this area a little bit. There's a nice looking chest there. Whoa. What is in here? Let's have a look. So, we've got a protective garland. Hyperion... Hyperion Quirus. That's good. Gold and an iron garland. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So, what level are we at the moment? We are... Oh. We, we, duh, it's here. Level 6. Okay, so I can't use this for even another 4 levels. And I need to have really high strength to use it. But it gives massive boost to a lot of different things. So I am going to hold on to that puppy. does mean that my inventory is gonna kind of cramped because I'm trying to hold on to that. But whatever. It'll be worth it. Okay. So that was a pretty sweet haul out of that. Suck it. Evil satyrs. Aha. Okay. So there's a point of interest nearby. Looks like it might be a cave or something like that. So, we have gold. We have more gold. And no, no, I don't think any of that would be of any use to us. Okay. The health potion will definitely help us. And we'll take all the gold. We'll open up this chest. Another health potion. And more the merrier. Okay, so got a bit of gold out of that. You can never have too much gold. Unless you've become over encumbered and you can't move. That's when you have too much gold. Okay, so we found some more Spartans here. Spartan Highlands. So, the uh, guy with the triangle, or the triangle, the diamond over his head, who looks somewhat sim like, uh, should have some information for us. The Pelin of Ali lies behind you. If it's Leonidas you seek, you will seek Leonidas okay. in the Spartan. So this guy's clearly warfare. psychic. He knows that I want to go see Leonidas. Ooh, Fire Mage Eye. Well, he didn't get a chance to fire off anything, because he's dead. <laughs> Regeneration Shrine. I think we'll leave that unmolested for the time being. Take out these Carrion Crows. Still none of them are dropping any feathers. So, 
um, any of you guys who would have been watching the previous um, videos, we have uh, relics and we have charms that we can actually use to uh, apply them to our different weapons and armors and stuff like that, and they give different stat boosts. And if you collect a bunch of them, you can uh, pull them all together and get a, a big stat boost with all of them, as opposed to just applying them individually. So what I've been doing is I've been collecting them throughout the videos, and um, I've only come across one disease plumage which generally drops from the carrion crows um, and we've gotten maybe, maybe three or four um, monster charms from the oh okay we've only gotten one we could have sworn we've gotten more than that so we've only gotten one from the boars as well so they're not dropping them very regularly which is annoying but there's not really much you can do about it whoa brush harpy firing crap at me well, down you go. Ooh, nice effect. Okay. Didn't drop anything for us. So, there appears to be a cave of some sorts up here. And there is... Oh, awesome. Rebirth Fountain. Take that. So, let's go see what's in the cave. So, we shall investigate this cave a little bit, and then we will run back to Leonidas and talk to him. Because obviously that is the important thing, in the uh, important part of the quest at the moment. So, of course, had to find the one cave that contains all the frickin' spiders. Look at the spiders. Die. Die. I love how they call it a cavern crawler. They don't call it a spider. They don't call it a cavern spider, they just call it a cavern crawler. Just in the off chance you might not realise, it's a freaking spider. Yeah. Well, can't fool me. I know a spider when I see one. So, that ball mace of destruction looks good. It's got increased damage. Mm. Speed is slow, so... I don't know if I actually want that. So, what we'll do is... We need to run back to town to sell some stuff anyway so uh, all that stuff there is yellow so it's a little bit more rare than obviously all this basic white stuff so might get some good prices for some of it so what we'll do is we will get a portal stone and jump back to the Spartan camp where we can sell some stuff no loitering no So that iron cleaver is a little bit better, and yeah, once we have some increased strength we'll be able to use that, so might just hold on to that as well. So, as I said, unfortunately the inventory is becoming a little bit cramped at the moment with all the stuff that's here, that I'm wanting to hold on to. Now this loop of ability, okay, so, gives me boost to my defensive ability. At the moment I have plus 60 energy, which I don't really want to get rid of. Mm. Actually, no. Screw it. I will. Because even though I was using Onslaught the entire time against Nessus, I still did pretty okay as regards energy levels. So, now we have plus 21 defensive ability. So hopefully we'll be a little bit stronger. Thank you for not loitering. So, we'll run back here. And go into the cave. Grab some of the stuff, and of course, there's more freaking spiders here. Yeah, yeah, I see you. You're gonna die anyway, so take your time. Ah, why are you spitting crap at me? Because you're a stupid spider. Stupid webs and crap. Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna talk to the Frostbite Shrine, so it gives us some ice damage in our attacks. Okay, looks like there isn't very much in this cave, just some spiders and a little bit of loot. Okay, so it hasn't been uh, too much of a uh, 
detour for us. So, what we'll do is now we will just jump back to Sparta, Spartan camp. So we shall go and talk to Le Leonidas. Uh, hopefully, unless his uh, guard has more crap for us to do. So, you killed it. Well, I have to say, I didn't think you would. Yeah, I'm no Spartan. Spartan. I'm the fucking hero of the Speak universe. With the general if you must. Be quick. Yeah. Leonidas is a busy man. Too busy to pretty well speak to the hero of the universe. Go on, don't make him wait. Thanks sake. Right, so, the man himself. So you're the one who brought the centaur down. I thought only a Spartan warrior could accomplish such a feat. So you are here on Diomedes' behalf. Very well. I will send a few of my men to defend his village. This isn't the first petition I've received requesting assistance. These beasts are everywhere now. And the lazy citizens who mocked Spartan discipline now whine for our help. No matter. Those creatures will regret the day they dared to step on Spartan soil. You must journey to the Oracle of Delphi. She will know where these monsters come from. I'd send a Spartan warrior, but I need all of them for battle. Go to Megara and find my old friend Timon. He can help you acquire a proper offering for the Oracle. Young warrior, remember, bravery is not born. It is made. Okay, a rather rousing speech from Leonidas there. So, basically, he's not going to help me himself because he's too bloody busy doing stuff, giving out about civilians who need help. So, I have to go to Megara and find his old friend Timon, which looks suspiciously like Timon. So, I'm going to be watching out for somebody called Pumba as well. Go now. I have things to attend to. I said go! Uh -huh. I said go! I like it when they have something humorous to say when you keep annoying them. The Oracle, is that it? Take heart. It might not be a task for a Spartan, but it's no petty errand for a messenger either. Remember, you go in the name of General Leonidas and of yeah, mighty of course. Sparta. So, what we're going to do is... Oh, okay. I was going to go talk to that dude about Hippias, but we never actually found Hippias. So that is the side quest that we still have to do. Uh, I doubt we're going to get a chance to do it in the next couple of minutes. We only have about two minutes or so left. So, what we'll do is we will uh, do some more of the same. We will go talk to this d dude and sell some stuff. What? So, well, not all this crap on this side. So, don't need that. Uh... Minus 9% reduction to all requirements. Hmm, not bad. That's pretty cool. Has the same stats as my other shield, just gives minus 9% reduction to all requirements. So, uh, it requires player level 8, unfortunately. So, go on, I'll hold on to it for the moment. Reinforced Greaves of Energy. So, that has the exact same armor value as my what I'm wearing at the moment. But it gives me plus 17 energy and plus 6% energy regen. So I'm going to swap those out. Most assuredly. Okay. And we don't need that. Alright. So now we are good to go. Thank you for not loitering. How was I not loitering? I've been standing here the whole time. And my character's been doing nothing. I've been doing all the work. So clearly I have been loitering. Yeah, let's go talk to this arcanist. Earth, storm, nature and spirit. This help to all. Okay, so he gives us staves and magical items. And rings and things like this. White dye. Okay, can be used. So the different dyes can be used to change the color of the base tunic that's here. Which basically looks like a skirt. Well, it's remarkably short. Anyway. Okay, so... There isn't a huge amount that we want here. Protective beads, we don't have any of those equipped at the moment. We'll just see. Copper hand axe, no. Nope. nope. None of that is of any use to us. So, okay. So the quests that we have left to do at the moment is we have one side quest to do in the Sparta area. So, we need to go wandering to try and find him. 
So, uh, that's it for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Um, in the next episode, we will go try and find Hippias. And we will continue on our way on the main quest. We will travel to Delphi. Um, well, no, okay. We probably won't get to Delphi in the next episode. We will um, make our way to Megara and speak with uh, Timon. Um, and possibly Pumba as well, we'll see. Um, to try and figure out how we get to Delphi and consult the Great Oracle. So, uh, that is what we're going to be doing next episode. So, thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, as always, uh, your feedback is appreciated. So, uh, please let me know what you thought of the episode, what you thought of my commentary. Um, if you know if you have any questions, any queries, if you want to see anything in particular, just let me know in the boxes below. So, thanks for watching. Take care and see you guys again.